Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. Another one of my basic part design exercises, the ironing plane. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. I need a profile which looks something like this here. Okay, add a circle, maybe here, like that. Trim it. And now add some dimensions. So, that distance here should be 11. This distance here should be 11. That distance here should be 2.5. Then from that line to this one, it should be 22. Now from this one to that one, just ignore that twist. It should be 40. In the end it should adjust and that radius should be maybe 51 or 50. Let's go for 51. Nice. And now one last constraint. Where is my axis system? There you go. And that should be coincidence between this point and that origin. Nice. Finish that sketch. So the next sketch should be on the top plane. That would be the set X plane. And this should look something like this here. No, this should have been can we go back one step? Would be nice. No. So let's just make this here horizontal aligned, then keep on. Try to snap. Okay, and go there. Now let's add some sort of symmetry line from this point. Not really from this point. First I should add a fillet. Maybe like that. Then add a dimension from this line to this center of that arc and this distance should be 280. Okay. And now let's align this center point here with the origin. That's okay. And I still want to use a construction line from this point to that one here. Make it for construction only. Or you could even use a center line. Now make it symmetric. This one and that one should be symmetric to this one. Then go for another dimension. This dimension should be 180. And that distance should be 180 as well. And the radius should be 50. And this point and that point should be aligned, which should make that 
profile fully constrained not yet because of course the origin should be on that line now it's fully constrained finish that sketch now i can go for a sweep so create a sweep that's the profile and this will be the path and confirm now in order to do my two ribs i want to create a plane an offset plane from this one and the distance should be 40 and then i want to make a sketch on that plane here that will be a line which starts maybe here goes in that direction and the length should be 90 and i could add a point just in case create a point right there and another one and that should be aligned of course with this one nice and the distance should be 10 millimeter if i need it for my hole finish that sketch okay now i can go for my two ribs so go to create go for a rib and i want to use that line here and i want to go for a thickness of minus 11 millimeter and not that option but this option just one side and there you can flip the direction so this looks okay let's start first with the left one confirm now make that sketch visible again and do another rip same line now flip the direction and it's done great so fusion is still lacking a proper helix or spiral command you have to use a coil and i want to add some construction elements just in case i want to have a point at vertex right here and confirm now for the coil go to coil you will need a plane i want to go for this plane and put it somewhere doesn't really matter because you can't snap so i put it here and let's go for a diameter of 20 and let's take a look you can go from a helix coil to a spiral I want to have four revolutions and the pitch I don't know and the section trial in, in triangular internal or external not a square not a circular one and let's take a look how that diameter is measured seems it's not to the outside it's on the on the midline here yeah, it's the midline and the section size is 5 mm, so I suppose it's 2.5 here. So the diameter should be, in order to make it proper, should be 17.5. So I go for 17.5, which should align it. Yeah, so if it's 5 mm from here to there, that should be okay. Now I want to have a new body and it's triangular external which means i will use that edge later on the pitch could be a bigger value so let's move this a little bit and see what we can do 20 is too big so maybe let's go for 15. the direction is okay yeah that's okay and confirm now i have to move that to the correct location because it's 
it couldn't snap so I want to use the move command maybe hide that body for the moment and go to move I want to move a body of course that would be the body body 2 okay and I want to move it from point to point the origin point could be this point and the touching point would be that point here and now I've hopefully placed it correct now I can use just that edge here on the outside or I could do a 3d sketch and bring in that that one so I want to use a 3d sketch so go for a sketch doesn't matter on what plane let's do it on this plane and make it a 3d sketch okay you know in case you have a helix you need a 3d sketch so let's bring in that edge project include project go to the edge here and project it inside that one here so select it confirm and finish that sketch now i could hide that body and i've got that spiral here which is a sketch bring back body one now i need a hole i could put the hole right on to this point yes diameter should be should be a simple one simple hole tap type yes it should go through all if that's possible not distance but all that's okay and the diameter should be six millimeter like that and confirm and now i can go for a pattern along that spiral okay let's go for our pattern and it's kind of odd as well so go to create go to pattern select pattern on path okay i want to pattern a feature yes that would be this feature here the path would be this one here now there is an option to give the quantity of these elements that's just the distance i want it to extend along that complete path so the distance let's click here i could measure that curve which gives me the length and if you have the length you can now change the now appeared quantity that's really kind of odd now this looks really good so it's 80 start point is of course that one extend one direction orientation identical yes compute option adjust this looks pretty good so i could confirm takes a while and now hide those sketches and i'm done so hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on grabcat facebook instagram and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye